Government watchdog is concerned over the dangerous misuse of a laundry detergent. Anna Werner shows us the latest social media fad and why it's so risky. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, come on. Many of the social media videos are recorded and posted by minors. <laughs> They're putting poisonous laundry pods in their mouths for clicks Three, and internet fame. Two, one. They call it the Tide Pod Challenge. <laughs> oh my God! 19-year-old <laughs> Mark Pagan did it on a dare. He told us he knew better, but did it anyway. A lot of people were just saying how stupid I was or how, why would I be willing to do that? No one should be putting anything like that in their mouths, you know? Now authorities say... This is what started out as a joke on the internet, and now it's just gone too far. Anne Marie Burkle is acting chairman of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. She says ingesting any of the liquid carries a deadly risk. The pods are bright and colorful, and to children they can look like candy. At least 10 deaths have been linked to ingesting the pods. Two were toddlers, eight were seniors with dementia. Procter & Gamble, the maker of Tide products, told CBS News they should not be played with, even if meant as a joke. Safety is no laughing matter. Burkle says her group has worked with manufacturers to make the packets less attractive to children. Making that laundry packet opaque, less attractive, less colorful, reducing the toxicity and the strength of the laundry detergents. The CPSC also found that elderly adults with dementia were confused by the product and have also ingested it. The danger to little kids is so high that researchers have recommended parents of young children not buy them at all and instead use regular detergent only. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York. Unbelievable. As many as 62,000 children under the age of six were exposed to laundry and dishwasher detergents between 2013 and 2014.